an inside look at a tunnel that will carry half of New York City's water below the Hudson River. After digging down 80 stories, crews are now carving out the billion-dollar tunnel north of the city. The two-and-a-half-mile bypass tunnel will reroute the city's water around a section of the Delaware Aqueduct that can leak 18 million gallons a day, roughly enough to fill 27 Olympic pools daily. Failure of a water supply for the city of New York, that's just not an option. The Delaware Aqueduct is one of two major tunnels connecting upstate New York reservoirs to city taps. The leaky section was blasted through limestone beneath the river during World War II. A straight repair of the section would have required shutting down the aqueduct for several years. With the bypass, the aqueduct will be out of service for months. Work on twin shafts flanking the river began five years ago. Tunnel work between the shafts started last year. Miners expect to finish digging in 2022. And then we complete that bypass, permanently block off the existing tunnel, put it back in service. And that shutdown is expected to take between six and eight months. If the shutdown plan works, New Yorkers won't notice when they turn on their faucets. The city has been phasing in conservation programs for years and will rely on other sources during the shutdown. This new bypass is built to last with concentric layers of concrete, steel, and more concrete. We don't plan to come down again anytime soon. A massive but unseen project for a water supply that serves 9.6 million people. Michael Hill, Associated Press. Newburgh, New York.